Hi everybody, happy Friday night and welcome to another edition of my weight loss story. Thank you for joining me. I'm Conrad Bombardier and today is my day 889. Uh, first thing I think I want to start with is just what's in my gut for advice. And I think the biggest thing that you have to do is listen to your body. Listen to your gut, listen to your mind, listen to your body. Then you got to push it because you got to end up taking care of you. But like for today, for instance, it was a long day at work, came home. Uh, I was tired and I told myself I'm just going to go lay down, take a small little power nap and make sure that I pay attention to the time because I need to plan accordingly to make sure I can get to the gym. Um, I took a small little 30 minute nap and then I got up, I came down, uh, I made my meal plan dinner that I had. It was fantastic. Um, tonight uh, was, was supposed to be a burrito bowl. And this is where I can normally on a Friday night, if how I'm doing with my weight fluctuation, everything, I'll sometimes treat myself and do a Chipotle bowl because the ingredients and everything's pretty well the same and I can match it other than like the sodium content. Uh, but tonight I decided to mix it up. And what I did is I looked at the macros. So when you get your meal plan, you can look at the macros and you look at how much protein, how much carbs, how much fats. And for me, I knew that in that Chipotle bowl, I had brown rice, I had beef, you know, steak, I had cheese, I had pico, um, and there was lettuce. I didn't use lettuce, which I could have, and maybe I'll do that next time. But instead of rice, and there was beans in there too, but instead of rice, what I did is I took a look at my um, carb intake, and I looked at my wraps and I compared. So I knew that I was supposed to have about 67 grams of carbs with the beans and the rice. And what I did, looking at my wraps, my wraps were 15 grams of carbs each. So that meant that I could have four wraps. Um, they're like the carb healthy wraps. I could have four wraps, my eight ounces of beef, which is what I did instead of steak. And then um, I had the cheese, I had the pico, and I made like little tacos. And I had four of them. And that was filling. And then I could feel, number one, this is how it shows how important your food is and the right kinds of food and energy. Because previously, if I would sit there and I would eat pizza or I'd eat processed foods or whatever I would eat, after I ate it, even though let's just say it was the same portion because I felt full, I would have felt like slumped and tired. And I guarantee that if this was three years ago, four years ago, I would have ate that, I would have came in back and sat down on his couch and probably fell asleep for another two hours. Instead, I fueled my body with something good that it needed. I felt the energy right away and that was kind of nice. I could feel my body waking up. I could feel my body taking in that food and getting, starting to burn it. And then I topped it off, I had water, <laughs> but then I topped it off with pre-workout, a non-stim pump, and started getting ready to get my um, protein shake and my creatine and my post-workout all together. And that food gave me that boost. That pre-workout started giving me that little bit of tingling. And I was off to the gym. It was great. I feel like, I can't even call it a second win because I feel energized. I feel good and I still have a snack coming. So feeding your body with the proper foods is so important. You can literally feel the difference. My weight today, uh, 0.2 I gained. Um, so I've been sitting at 218.4. Um, today's month two, day three of Adam's new custom training plan. Um, meal plan three with V-Shred. And... Today's exercise uh, was legs, legs, 
Oh, and more legs. Uh, so thanks, Adam. Today was a crap ton of legs. Uh, feel good? I love the upper body, but I'm going to tell you, my upper body is still sore. My chest from two days ago is still really sore. Um, I was doing my, my warm-ups that I do, and man, I could feel it. It feels good. This month, um, I wanted a little extra. You want a little extra, and uh, I'm loving it. So keep on pushing yourself. Keep on doing you. Focus on what your body needs. Pay attention before you just eat whatever or drink whatever. Think about the fact that if you fuel it right, you will feel a difference. And that's what your body's going to crave is this good food. Have a good night. I hope that everybody's off to a great start to a weekend. Uh, baseball for me, Ethan's playing, pitching tomorrow morning. I'm excited uh, to watch him on the bump. Gabe will be there. Um, it's going to be a good day. Everyone, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, and keep an eye out on that video. Because the last time I checked, we're under 30 views for 4,000 already. And you know what that means. A giveaway. And be surprised. I might do a couple this weekend. Stay tuned. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Be kind.